How's it going today, everybody? Eddie Kernan for Rexy Lab. Welcome to the Guitar Murray. Well, this time it's part two of my big three bass heroes all had a signature Fender bass guitar. And I managed to track down one that has been out of production for a little while, kind of. This is a Getty Lee jazz bass, but it's one of the first runs that was made in Japan. However, as we can see, well, you know what? It didn't quite make it here as safely as I would have liked. I'm looking at you, UPS. So if I were to stand atop a spiral stair and have an oracle confront me there, my first question would be, is my bass gonna be okay? Man, it's a spooky. Ah. Even worse is that I had to let the thing acclimate for a day. So it's been sitting for a day and I don't know what kind of condition this thing's in. However, I got it from Music Go Round and you know what? The only other time that I've ever gotten anything from them, it was fine. So we're just going to open this thing up and get a look. Oh, that's a good sign. Thankfully, there was a box inside a box, so I think we're going to be okay. Let's find out, shall we? Ow. I will never forget the very first time that I heard Rush. It was 1980. And my family had just moved into the neighborhood that I grew up in. I was walking down the street and walked past this kid's garage and it was full of really weird bicycles and a couple really, really cool BMX bikes. And I just kind of wandered in there. I was a goofy little kid with a bowl cut and uh, I don't know why this uh, much older, much cooler dude didn't just tell me to hit the skids right away, but he didn't. He must have taken pity on me, and I hung around like a dog that you were dumb enough to feed. I would go over there and watch him work on his bikes and uh, daydream about maybe getting a cool bike myself. And one day, a song came on the radio. He looked at me and said, you know who this is? And I looked at him and said, no. And he kind of glared at me like, how could you possibly be so stupid and maintain the involuntary actions of inhale and exhale? And he just kind of looked at me like, it's Rush, man. Years later, I was talking to a friend of mine and we were all into Steve Vai and Stu Ham and all these really, really amazing people. And he looked at me and said something about Rush. And I was like, yeah, I mean, the trees is cool, but, you know, I mean, whatever. And he looked at me and went, what about La Villa? And I said, what, what, what do you mean, La Villa? And he just looked at me and said, you don't even know. And he opened up his locker in a junior hall, grabbed a recorded cassette tape, and shoved it into my chest and said, don't talk to me until you have listened to this entire thing. And I was like, what then? He was like, no talking. So I went back and I listened to what turned out to be hemispheres. And at the very end, I was exposed to La Villa Strangiato and I knew exactly what he meant. Let's see just what kind of condition this Getty Lee Japanese Fender Jazz Bass is in. They shipped it, tuned to pitch, and that's fine. I know there are a lot of people that freak out about that, but it's not that big of a deal unless it's going to be on a boat or an airplane or something like that. The saddles are definitely not correct, but that's easy enough to fix. Well, that neck is nice and straight, baby. They even have D'Addario strings on it, which is great because they sound new and that's my brand. So as long as they're not the wrong gauge, I don't even have to change the strings. So with any luck, just a little twiddly fiddlies here, 
and we're good. But first I gotta know, does it get he? <laughs> I would say that is a yes. Awesome. Let's get this thing intonated. So a couple things that let me know that this is Japanese other than the fact that it says crafted in Japan right there. Really the big one is that this bridge is a Leo Kwan badass uh, bridge. It's a, it's a badass too, which they uh, on the Mexican ones now they're just branded fender and they look very similar let's see if this one takes the same size allen wrench that the fender one does and it appears it does great i like the way the action looks you just need to make the saddles match wow do i have very little to complain about the only thing that was really wrong with this base and i'm being very nitpicky about it is that the saddles were not flat they were kind of arced which some people like but i don't but once i got that right all that all that's out is the intonation on the g-string And it's not out by much. Perfect. Boy, was this short. which is nice, especially when you consider the last thing that I bought sight unseen that got sent to me was a freaking mess. That's it. Oh, well, wait a minute. Interesting. That is not the fault of the, uh, of the base, but more of the bridge. These slots might need to be cut a little bit deeper. Oh yeah. Interesting. Let's see if it buzzes. Thank you. 
you know what? I keep on pulling this up right there. I am pulling that thing up out of that slot. I wonder how hard it would be to pull these out. That one doesn't seem so bad. Neither does that one. Neither does that one. This one right here though, big problems. Okay, good. This was a little too easy. That's a 45. Uh, let's try a 46. I'd be willing to bet that's going to do it. Let's find out. Yeah, I'd say we got it. Ooh, and I'm starting to sweat. Well, we can't have that. Awesome. So, I got my Getty bass. It's uh, everything that I was hoping for. I am going to go climb aboard the Ross and Dante and see what's on the other side of the black hole Cygnus X1. Spoiler alert, it's ancient Greece. So that's it. Until next time, you guys, this has been Eddie Kernan for Rexy Lab. Reliving the past through my heroes. One awesome bass guitar at a time.